Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor. Priorities. Figure out whether Russian is your top priority or is it your hobby. You can only belong to either one or another. You cannot be in the middle. There is no way. It's either you're focused on Russian or you kind of do it just for fun. And each side is, per is perfectly fine. You're not going to be wrong for having Russian as your hobby. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But you have to figure out which camp you belong to. Let's start with the hobby. The reason why I say it is because I see so many people that for who Russian is just a hobby, but they expect huge results. They're not putting their energy and they're not putting their mind into something, but they expect huge outcomes because the only thing that they're focusing on is how long they've been studying in years. I started three years ago. But how many hours have you put in? That's the only, the only thing that matters, is how many hours did you actually study? It doesn't matter if you started three years ago, if you only started once, if you only spent one hour three years ago, you know? So when you have it as a hobby, don't expect huge results. Don't expect, you know, a lot of progress later on. Because you're not putting your mind, your soul, your energy into this. And there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Because you want to have fun. You want to just enjoy talking in Russian. And it's perfectly fine. But I see so many people getting frustrated with themselves. And just upset because they don't see the progress. But don't assume that your Russian is just going to develop by itself. It won't. You have to spend a lot of hours a lot of time and a lot of energy, sometimes a lot of money too. Well, with this channel, you don't. <laughs> but anyway, um, when it's just your hobby, treat it as your hobby. I play on the guitar right here next to me right now. I don't expect myself in a year to play a solo like my favorite guitarist, for example. I don't, I just do it for fun. I enjoy it at the moment. If I don't grow, I don't care because I enjoy it when I play it. The same thing must apply to you. If Russian is your hobby, make sure that you enjoy it while you're doing it. And don't focus on the progress then. And don't get frustrated as well, because that's only going to bring you down. It's not going to do any good to you. Just figure out if it's your hobby, just let it be a hobby. Like people have knitting. Knitting is their hobby. They don't expect to be the best knitter in the world, all right? But if you belong to, if you are in the second camp where Russian is your top priority, when you are going to, uh, to progress, you, maybe you're going to Russia soon and you have to learn Russian or something, going to Russia soon and you have to learn Russian or something along those lines, make sure that you are tracking your, your record, your, your progress and treat it as a job. Don't treat it as a hobby. When you come on this channel, I don't expect anybody to watch all of my videos because if you just watch them as they come, then there is no set <coughs> sorry, there's no set structure in your studying. You just learn what's coming at you, you know? You don't separate, you don't have goals, you don't have a path that, that you're going. Treat it like your job. At your job, they're going to give you projects, they're going to give you a daily routine. Treat it the same way. First of all, establish a habit. Number one is to establish a habit. For example, you're going to say, okay, each day I'm going to do 20 minutes of Russian. A month from now, I will increase that to half an hour in Russian. Create a habit. Number two is set goals. For example, this week I'm going to spend 20 minutes every day and I'm going to speak to 10 natives over Hello Talk or Tandem or VK, whatever. Or today I'm going to speak to one native speaker in my community. Today I will read a chapter of Dostoevsky in Russian or something of that sort. Set goals. Track your record. Track your progress. You know, treat it as if it's your, it's your job. You know how they just count money and count revenue every time they, you know, after each quarter? Do the same with Russian, you know, because that's when you know, okay, 
um, you know, I've spent 20 minutes a day, but I feel like I need to focus on this. You know, I'm, I'm lacking this. And then I don't understand this. Only when you take charge of your progress, only then can you change it or improve, improve upon it. You know what they say? What is measured gets managed. You cannot manage what you cannot measure. So measure your success of rushing. And then you can get upset with yourself when you don't progress as fast because you have a metric. You can, you can, you can measure your progress. So if, you are, if your rushing is a hobby, don't get mad when you don't progress. Have fun while you're learning it. When Russian is your top priority, set goals and track your record. And don't get confused which one you're in, because that's another very important factor. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much. I hope that this kind of helped, because I've seen so many people getting frustrated with themselves when Russian is just a hobby, but they think that it's a top priority. And the other way around. They want to progress, but they don't do anything. So... Don't be that person. Figure out which one you're in, which group you're in, and act upon it. I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.